How's it going? It's Slater breaking it down with Bailey Zerman, uh, my friend. What's I have up? been watching your, uh, I guess, the the scene completely. I don't know if you felt it because you're in it, but the scene of country music has changed a big part of the energy that gets brought on the stage yeah. from you. Like it, we love seeing it in a capacity of. Uh, you know, we've we'll seen videos of confetti falling from the sky. Yes. Shane Brown shoots out T-shirts, everything else. And I think that's what has to happen with the evolution of how stuff goes up there. Would you agree? Yeah, I just liked, I mean, I couldn't imagine just standing there. I couldn't yeah. imagine just, like, standing still. I have to move. That's sure. like, I got ADHD so bad, man, I couldn't be up there and not get so lit. Yeah. So that's kind of just, like, my thing. But I feel like people want to have fun, mm. you know, unless that's not your show. You know sure. what I mean? If it's not your show to have fun, then that's okay. But I I sing Heartbreak stuff, but I get lit when I'm singing it. Yeah. It's like, I'm having so much fun, man. Yeah. And so, like, last night was night number two. Hardy, I think, stole people's breath while watching him rock it and bring it in a different way. Yep. And I mean, the night before was Cody Johnson. Yep. So and he does the same thing, man. Yeah. Holy cow. So, uh... As far as, like, the, the musicians and what you have next, I know Josh Ross and you are on tour right yep. now. Well, we'll be on tour. Be yep. on tour yep. in the future. Um, so in 2024, what do we have to look forward to with you? Dude, all sorts of stuff, man. I mean, I'm only really, like, year two into this stuff, you know. So new music, sold-out tour, new music, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to keep writing songs and keep doing stuff and mm -hmm. hopefully put out more tours and yeah. keep doing this forever, man. So at this point, uh, I saw the video, it was a month ago now, you were joking around saying you were looking for a wife. Yeah. Okay, in, now in your songs, uh, people know the, the emotions are real and that you're not afraid to talk about, hey, this is how I'm feeling. Like yeah. for, for me, I always I pen songs that will never see the light of day. Word. One of the same most here, same here. One of the most embarrassing moments that happened to me. I was in ninth grade and I had this book, this notebook that was full of poems, and dude behind me reached into my backpack and started reading them. Yeah. And go back in time when you're in ninth grade. Like that could be one of the most humiliating. Yeah, your life things is over. To have yeah your life yeah. Is over, yeah. That's that's the way it felt. And now, years later, I look and it's like. Now it's more acceptable. Yeah. Now I don't know if kids would actually feel like that, and that's because the songs are out there uh, are completely different than they were. Yeah, no, I mean, dude, being vulnerable is, like, was a weird thing yeah. in, like, in life, but now it's, like, cooler to be vulnerable and tell people how you feel because, you know, with mental health and all that stuff, it's like, no, get off your chest, actually. We want you to do that now yeah. instead of keeping it all inside. Like, sure. we're tired of people going through that stuff yep. so it's like yeah in ninth grade that would have been really tough but nowadays it's almost like yeah you can read them man yeah i would love you to actually read those go for it yeah yeah i'd like you to like feel that a little bit yeah, yeah. that was the advice I, yeah, i'm real close with my mom and that was her advice she's like you know what the next day why don't you the same dude that stole out of your backpack give him one that he didn't read and be yep. like hey feel free yeah and like, i didn't have the cards to do it like man i wish i could go back in time yeah was there a piece of nugget of advice? I know you and your mom, it sounds like the exact same relationship that, oh, you, yeah. that, that I have in mind. Is there a piece of advice that if you're having a tough day that she's pulled out like most recently? I don't really struggle with it too much though. Yeah. So um, I don't struggle with anything like that. I'd say she just, uh, my mom says really a lot is just, Keep on going, boy. Mm. Keep on going, boy. And that's just kind of like my sort sure. of like, keep going then. Just keep going. Blinders on. Keep going. Don't worry about people talking shit or people talking bad about yeah. you. Just worry about the people that talk good about you mm -hmm. and do love you. Yeah. you know? So, yeah, I mean, mom's just, wow. Yep. She's the reason I'm here. Yep. For, I, for sure. And uh, I guess the last thing that I'm curious about is you have upcoming music in the when you're out on the road, do you find time to continue to write stuff for the future or do, on your off days, do you focus on that? We're still trying to figure out a way to where we can, cause I can't play guitar that well. I can play guitar. I just can't like play the riffs that my producers yeah. can write me, right? So we're trying to figure out a way to where I can ride on the road and not have to like have all these 
musical people around where they just yeah. send it to me and I can play it on the speaker and then write to it. But um, we're working on it. I'm trying. I want to write on the road. It's just kind of hard because I don't have my buddies that can play guitar yeah. for me. I'm just like kind of here, yep. you know. So, um, but I wanna I wanna start writing on the road more. But for right now, it's like just touring and then when i get home i i write by myself or write with my friends or yeah but i want to write on the road it's just yeah yeah i appreciate you very much oh yeah of course dude yeah Yeah. thank you man god bless